Relationships using the flagpole analogy that I recently heard. The man is the flagpole doing the supporting. The woman is the flag free flowing in the wind and all of her glorious femininity. The size of the flag is both her femininity itself plus her independence within that relationship. The more independent this woman is, the more feminine she is, and thus the flag grows larger. It is then incumbent upon the man as the flagpole to be strong enough and confident enough to support her in her feminine independence. Now the first problem of course is there's no implication of reciprocal support. The flag supports nothing. It just flies out there in the wind and in all of its feminine glory. Now naturally strong men will always take the lead in a relationship. Not all men do this of course, but not all men are strong men. If she is increasingly ever more independent in that relationship, she is by equal degrees not following his lead. But the problem in that analogy is it puts everything on the man. He is required to be strong enough to support her independence. And if he is not happy with her ever increasing independence within that relationship, he is said to be weak, lacking in confidence, insecure perhaps. But there's no room for just saying, no, no, he's going to take the lead. That strong man that's going to take the lead, he needs a virtuous woman that is strong and clever and independent, but she is reciprocating that strength and energy back to the relationship and not just flying in the wind in all of her feminine glory.